Joining me right now from our friends of the Bradenton Herald is Megan Delaney. Got a school school board story for us. I guess they're talking about maybe adding a couple of more school board members. Tell me about that. That's right. They took their first step on Tuesday night to potentially look at adding two more school board members. Um, basically, what they decided on Tuesday night was to have their lawyer look at it, see what different hurdles there might be. Um, but they are looking at increasing from five board members to potentially seven board members by the time 2018 rolls around. So whose idea was it and why two? What are they? Are they trying to mirror something? That's right. This idea originally was brought forth by uh, Manatee County Commissioner Charles Smith. He's a first term county commissioner and he thought that adding these two board members uh, to the school board would help cut down on some of the dysfunction. Um, this move would also make the school board look exactly like the makeup of the Manatee County Commission. So you would have five board members who are elected in their five districts, mm -hmm. and then you would have two at-large board members, which is how the Manatee County Commission looks. Yeah, and that's um, the way a lot of other school boards are as well. So I, I'm, I'm curious, does this take any kind of legislative or state uh, action, or can the board just vote and do it that way? Well, the board can't just decide to do it. This would take the public's approval. It would have to go before the public through a referendum. Um, but the school board does have to decide. They do have the power to say, yes, let's put this before the public for a vote. But ultimately, it would be the voters in Manatee County who would decide whether they can do this or not. Now, they would do this during a regular election. I mean, they're not going to call a special election because I know those things are like three or $400,000 to do that. Right. So the earliest we could probably expect to see this is either... Um, the primary in 2016 or the general election in 2016. Okay, and how do board members feel about it? Anybody kind of going, eh, I don't know. Well, it seems like board member Dave, uh, Dave Miner is really on board with this idea. He's the one during the school board meeting who's really pushing to, to move forward with this and, and let the public have a voice. Um, Board member Bob Gauze, board chair Bob Gauze, um, seemed a little bit more hesitant as to whether, you know, this move would actually help the problems with the board. You know, he sort of questioned it a little bit more. Um, the other board members seem open to discussing it. Um, and it would cost more money too, wouldn't it? That's right. You'd have the additional expense of two more board members. Hmm. going to be interesting. It's a great story to follow. Megan Delaney, thank you so much. Folks, pick up a copy of the Bradenton Herald and read all about it. Megan, take care. Thank you. You too.